Hello world, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with the Master Chefs with me, Michael Lang. This is the show where I take a recipe from last week's episode of Master Chef. Tonight. Teach you in the one result and follow my teach you in the two result. And then try to recreate it here, right in my kitchen. This week's an interesting week because the team challenge had a bunch of crazy unique dishes and then the elimination challenge happened to be a bunch of uh, made from scratch pastas and I don't have a pasta press so those were gonna be really hard with that said tonight We are making a uh, risotto Next you make the second appetizer the risotto with Wagyu beef We're making a mushroom risotto with um, a soy sauce ginger marinated beef steak uh, Just to add a little Asian flavor to it because you know Let's get cooking. So here's everything you're gonna to need to make the risotto. You need some rice, some wine, chicken stock, mushrooms, shallots, and some butter. Salt and pepper, obviously to taste. Once again, full recipe is going to be down in the descriptions below. Uh, before we actually get started on this though, we're going to go ahead and prep the uh, soy sauce, ginger, garlic steaks. Uh, to do that, it's really simple. You're only gonna really need four ingredients, some soy sauce, sugar, garlic and ginger. Also, obviously, your steaks. Go ahead and pound your steaks as thin as possible and then just cut them into serable slices. Mince your garlic and your ginger. After that, you're just basically gonna just add everything together. Go ahead and whisk in the sugar with the soy sauce and then once it's all incorporated, throw in your ginger and um, garlic. Whisk and uh, stir it up a little bit more and then just add in your meat. So, uh, it should just look something like this. Go ahead and just let it sit on the side while we prep everything else. You're not going to really cook this until uh, the risotto is just about done because it's only going to take like two to three minutes to cook the actual steaks themselves. Alright, so uh, with the risotto, any type of starchy rice is going to do just fine, but the Italian favorite is Arborio rice. Man, looks like that. It's basically a short grain rice that's uh, very starchy. You're going to want a starchy rice because the starch is actually going to what uh, emulsifies everything together. First things first with the risotto, go ahead and get your chicken stock simmering. That way when you're ladling it into your rice, um, it doesn't cool down everything and then have make the starch thicken up and all that stuff. While the chicken stock is getting to simmer, go ahead and start cooking your um, mushrooms just for a couple of minutes. They're going to end up going back into the risotto about halfway through the cooking process, but you want to get them pre-cooked just a little bit so that way they're not raw by the time everything is done. Uh, go ahead and also chop up the shallots and that's pretty much it for the prep. Everything else is just about to cook. So. Once your mushrooms are cooked and set aside, go ahead and toss in some butter into your pan and then toss in your shallots. You're only going to cook them for about a minute to two minutes um, just so that they uh, get a little bit translucent and then you're going to throw in your rice. Cook, uh, roast the rice with the butter for about two to three minutes. Um, you're just looking for them to get a little bit more opaque. Um, once that's done, throw in the wine and then let that all mix together. Once the rice absorbs most of the wine, that's when you're gonna start ladling in the chicken stock, one ladle at a time. Let the rice absorb everything, and once it absorbs everything, throw in more chicken stock. Don't do it all too much, or else you're gonna get um, just mushy rice. What we want is al dente inside, so they're just a little bit slightly undercooked. Like I said, about halfway through the process, go ahead and just toss in your mushrooms so that way the mushrooms cook with the uh, risotto the rest of the way and gets all those nice flavors incorporated in it as well. Don't worry if you don't need to use all of the chicken stock. Um, this is always going to be a give and take, and so you might not need all the chicken stock. If you do, then you do. But um, yeah, don't worry if you don't end up having to use it all. And then once it's just about done, um, add in your salt and pepper to taste. Uh, always remember to add the salt and pepper uh, or else you will get something very, very bland. But just as uh, the risotto is done, we're going to go ahead and toss on a, uh, another pan and then cook these uh, steak skirts. Um, basically, like I said, it's going to just take two to three minutes um, because they are so thin. Just have the pan on high, some, add some olive oil, throw them in, give them a good flip after a minute and a half, and then everything is ready for plating. There you have it. 
Uh, one mushroom risotto with uh, some ginger soy sauce marinated beef on top. Thank you, Master Chef, as always, for helping me create new and awesome things. If you guys don't watch the show, you can find it on Fox every Wednesday or on Hulu. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the recipe. Don't forget to subscribe and like and all that good stuff. I'm going to go eat some grub. You guys have a great night, and I'll see you again next week. So we're recreating Nick's coffee cake. It's a uh, vanilla coffee cake with a coffee mascarpone. That said, let's get bacon.